Hello everyone, so here we are on the streets of Calgary. My name is David Pavlovsky. I'm running for a member of parliament for, for Calgary Centre for Christian Heritage Party of Canada. Check out what we stand for. We are the true conservative party, the only one that does not compromise on moral issues in the entire nation. We stand on guard for thee. As you remember, I went to a, I was invited to a community hall, to a quite rich area where people came with nice, beautiful cars. Obviously, they came well dressed, clean, smelling nice, looking good, shaved, you know, looks like they have awesome jobs and the reality of hardship, it's far away from them. I was asked to bring 10 pies and I couldn't do that. I couldn't just participate during the campaign and eat with these people while Calgary, while Canada is in such a mess, in such trouble. As you know, three and a, over three and a half million children were already slaughtered in the name of convenience. Thousands of elderly and sick have been slaughtered in the name of convenience. The homosexual perversion is being taught and indoctrinating the minds of little children, you know, they push this propaganda instead of teaching the little children mathematics, biology, chemistry, English, French, etc., etc. So, in order to fix this neighborhood, they said, what would you do to fix this neighborhood? I brought, instead of 10 pies, I brought 10 Bibles. And because of that, I was kicked out of that place. You know, mind you, out of the 10 Bibles that we have tried to give away there as a gift, as a healing to the problems that this nation faces, only one out of 10 was taken. So I've decided to go to the scripture and remind myself what Jesus said, that in the end days, he will send his servants and invite all of the elect, all of the smart ones, all of the wise ones, all of the eloquent ones, those who got it, quote to quote. And they all denied his invitation. They all denied his invitation and the servant goes back to the master, the master that's been preparing for so long a feast for these people. And the servant says to the master, they, they don't want to come. They're too proud. It seems like they got everything they ever wanted. You've blessed them beyond measure and now they forgot your name, oh master. So the master got enraged and he told the servant, go to the highways, to the byways, go get the sick, the lame, the rejected ones, those who those oh so called People that got it all figured out, reject people like that. Go and get them and tell them that the tables are set, that the kingdom of God is open to them. And that's what I want to do today. I want to go like this servant sent by the master, tell him the feast is prepared. The bread of life is here. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have a gift for you. I have a gift. I went to a very rich place, and I want to tell you that these rich people that, that think have it all figured out they denied to take the Bible. Would you receive this gift today? Would you take the bread of life? Please take one. Take one. This can change your life. Madame, you will learn. Take it. It's a gift. It's a gift to you. It's a gift to you. It's a gift to you. Brother, may God richly bless you. May God bless you and keep you. Will you receive the bread of life? An invitation to the kingdom of God. An invitation to the kingdom of God. It's a gift. Take one. Take one. Take one. Take one. Take one. It is an invitation. Don't just keep it in your own pocket.
gift to you on a silver platter, the Bible. Read it. Take it. May God richly bless you, brother. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, some of them denied it. Some of them denied it. Pride is everywhere. And unfortunately, in many cases, people on the streets are on the streets because of pride. But most of them took it with open arms. Because they understand deep inside that they need help. And this is the big difference between you and them. You thinking you have it all because you're somewhere over there. You're somewhere over there. And you got huge bank accounts and you have all that you think you got it all figured out. You think you're okay. But you don't realize you're miserable, wretched and naked. And you're poor where they recognize they have a problem. They need a doctor, they need a savior. Deep inside they're crushed and you're not. So we went to people that are crushed and they received the invitation. I'm glad, I'm happy. Let the Lord rebuke the so-called smart ones and the wise in their own eyes, but elevate the weak the lowly, the broken, beautiful God's mathematics. I love it. I love the way God has ordained the things on this world. Hallelujah. Praise God.